Minus 40 is one of South Africa's leading industrial, domestic, leisure and recreational industry refrigeration manufacturers. Situated in the industrial area alongside the international airport of the mother city, this Cape Town-based company has been in the refrigeration business since 1975. Minus 40 is the manufacturer of the brand leader of 4x4 fridges and freezers. Whether you are a casual or serious 4x4 enthusiast or a large safari operator, Minus 40 has a fridge or freezer to suit your needs. Minus 40 can be found in just about every aspect of outdoor life where there is a need for the preservation and chilling of food, beverages and other goods which can be enjoyed because of refrigeration. No longer a choice but a demand set by the discerning 4x4 enthusiast. Minus 40 is a South African manufactured product built for the demands of a way of life under tough African conditions. Design, manufacture and testing are carried out to exacting standards so that the final product is able to function and live up to the expectations of the 4x4 and outdoor user. But a closer look at the manufacturing stages reveals why Minus 40 is one of Africa's leading refrigeration companies dedicated to making the product reliable and efficient so that the life of the 4x4 and outdoor enthusiast is made easier, more comfortable and relaxing when camping or on safari in the bush. Sheet metal with the 0.7mm thickness is used in the manufacturing of the motor housing and insulated cabinet. Once the sheets have been marked out, the parts are notched using a notched cutter. Using the power guillotine, the notched sheet metal is now ready for bending up the motor box. The box and pan bending machine bends the sheet metal to make up the motor box. By bending the notched sections together, the corners are shaped to form a strong and rugged frame. This is a 60 litre unit that is currently in production, one of the many units available from minus 40. The 60-litre unit is one of the most popular amongst safari, 4x4 and camping enthusiasts. A press brake sheet metal bender bends the already cut parts which have been made to size. These will make up the components which will be spot welded together to make the shelves and trays for the minus 40 range of upright fridge freezers. Minus 40 products are handmade and each has a unique individual character. Diligent and well-trained staff use a variety of jigs and fixtures to ensure that each unit produced is ready to give years of trouble-free service. Particular attention is paid to corrosion protection. This is achieved by using a combination of pre-painted steel, stainless steel and epoxy coating on all components, ensuring that your freezer is fit for use under all conditions. Copper skin piping is measured, bent and used to form the evaporator, the heart of the freezing system. The shaped and bent copper skin piping is assembled and soldered together, forming the familiar square-shaped evaporator. Once the evaporator has been soldered, the whole unit is flow rate tested to ensure that it is exactly matched to the compressor performance and that refrigerant gas can flow easily through it. 
This process ensures the most efficient performance under all operating conditions. This check is critical, as any restrictions will reduce the performance of the compressor. Furthermore, the piping system is pressurized with nitrogen and sealed with solder. This will at a later stage indicate any leaks. All minus 40 refrigeration units are thoroughly tested before moving on to the next stage of manufacture. A stainless steel inner case is built around a reinforced wooden box. This wooden box, or plug, will ensure that the inner casing maintains its shape when the high-pressure polyurethane mix is poured in between the outer and inner casings and begins to cure. The wooden plug also allows the stainless steel sides to be accurately aligned during assembly. PVC spine strips hold the side and bottom stainless steel panels together and seal off the joined areas. A special putty sealant is pressed and shaped around the bottom joint corners and finally, adhesive tape is applied, further sealing off the inner casing. Once the inner casing is assembled, the copper skin evaporator piping is dressed around the outside of the inner stainless steel casing. Special adhesive aluminium foil is applied to keep the evaporator piping in place. The adhesive foil also acts as a conductor, which adds to the efficiency and cooling performance of the freezer. The stainless steel lining protects the evaporator, preventing accidental damage during use or cleaning. The inner and outer casings are married together and placed in a jig, ready for the pouring of the polyurethane mix. The polyurethane mix is poured in between the inner and outer casings of the fridge to form an insulator. The jig is tightly sealed and the polyurethane in situ process is allowed to cure for about half an hour. Both the freezer box and fridge lid are insulated in this manner. The fridge lid seal is pop riveted into place and will be fitted to the minus 40, 60 litre Safari freezer. Sufficient time has now elapsed and the polyurethane in situ process has cured. The jig is opened and the 60 litre unit is ready to move on to the next stage on the production line. The polyurethane insulator is now solidified and acts to give both incredible strength and efficiency insulation to the freezer. In order to prevent moisture from creeping into the polyurethane insulation, a layer of bitumen sealer is applied to the bottom of the freezer. The bottom fridge cover plate, as well as the motor housing, is drilled and riveted on the main box. A grill is marked out on the motor box and will in effect protect the compressor, electronics and other components which will be fitted inside the motor box housing. The grill of course will be attached later after the fitment of the compressor and other components which need to be assembled in the motor box housing. As with all minus 40 fridges and freezers that are manufactured, attention to detail, accuracy and the solution to practical problems is an ongoing mission. Here, holes are drilled with a pre-marked template for the handle positions. With the seal on the 60-litre freezer lid now complete, the lid is fastened to the main freezer box. And finally, the over-centre latch is fixed to the front of the freezer.
The condenser, fan, Danfoss compressor, copper piping, electronic controls are all assembled and fitted inside the motor box. The system is then once again tested to ensure that no leaks have occurred during the production process. This is achieved by the technician, ensuring that the evaporator still contains its charge of pressurized nitrogen. Temperature control switch and temperature indicator are fitted to the outside front face of the freezer as the final touches before the freezer is leak detection tested. The system is then evacuated over a 12-hour period. This process is required to remove any moisture or air in the refrigeration system. This is a crucial requirement if the refrigeration system is to have the longest possible life and is to operate efficiently. The freezer is then finally charged with an ozone-friendly R134A refrigerant. All minus 40 fridges and freezers are run under operating conditions for a period of 12 hours, during which operation is tested and the temperature achieved is monitored. Performance results are printed out by computer for analysis. Minus 40 are manufacturers of a wide range of fridges and freezers. The brand also enjoys a reputation for producing rugged, reliable units suitable for just about any application. So whether your needs might be high capacity, such as the C430 litre, or the 150 litre Kalahari freezer, or the 225 litre upright fridge powered by mains or generator, or even one of the many off-road units powered by mains, generator, 24 or 12 volt supply, there is already a diverse range to choose from. If your needs are specific, Minus 40 will customize a unit specifically for you. The 115-litre Bushmaster, the 60-litre Compact Namib Cooler, or standard 60-litre Safari, the attractive Sahara 60-litre unit, even a 60-litre stainless steel version. Maybe your needs are smaller, so there's the 40-litre Caravel in standard and stainless steel. and Minus 40's trailer freezer to be used at functions and bush campsites. Camping out in the bush is great fun with your 4x4. If you're going to have an extended stay, provisions and food supply will be a necessary factor. The best way to keep perishables fresh and edible and drinks cold is by way of a reliable fridge or freezer. In the throbbing heat of the African sun, there can be very little to beat an ice cold beer or cold drink. Minus 40 is able to work in the harshest environments that Africa can conjure up. To get the best out of your Minus 40, a few golden rules should be followed. Ensure that you have a reliable deep cycle battery, separated by a split charging system so that there is no drain on your normal car battery. Minus 40 fridges and freezers are known for their energy efficiency. When using your Minus 40 unit in your 4x4, camper, off-road trailer or caravan, have the power cables from your Minus 40 unit fixed directly to the battery terminal clamps and ensure these in turn are clamped firmly onto the battery terminal. Also make sure that the connecting cables are thick enough. Every Minus 40 unit is supplied with detailed instructions for installation. Following these will ensure years of reliable operation. Set the freezer to the desired temperature by rotating the temperature dial. The Minus 40 freezer gets to work immediately and with an overnight cycle, you can freeze any produce or make ice with ease. You don't have to strip down or take your shirt off, but you can take the heat out of your life. Minus 40, one of Africa's most rugged, reliable refrigeration systems available today.
Don't leave on your next trip without one of the many Minus 40 units available. Visit your nearest Minus 40 dealer now. For the ultimate chilling experience, choose Minus 40.